Okay, so I'm a little short on time here, running out of daylight. So today's going to be all about some magnums. Uh, except for this guy, I'm not sure why he's there, but <clears throat> he's a little magnum, a little mini mag. It's pretty cool, so we'll get into shooting that. I just mostly wanted to do this. Uh, I'm still waiting on my barrel. So I converted it to a mag fed, and I had to do I had to do a lot of work to get this to hold a 458 wind mag round. But it is now a five shot 458 wind mag. As soon as I get my barrel in, it's still chambered in 300 magnum, so it goes on to ammo. I got a bunch of ammo at Walmart, you know, before the ammo apocalypse, for fifteen dollars a box. <laughs> and 300 wind mags are a really good bullet. Uh, almost kind of hate to convert that it looks so good like that but i have an 8mm mauser uh so i'm gonna do something with that hopefully but uh, and this ammo uh, just the other day i got it for a dollar 50 a box at walmart on clearance and the other ammo we have this is black cloud at 10 gauge it looks amazing looks really cool it's assembled in the u.s which what the what the fuck is that i don't know and then we got some uh four tens <laughs> Dude, this thing is crazy shooting both barrels in it. It is nothing futz. Look at that. You can shoot 45 cold out of there, too. Uh, so, you got the Remington 700. I'm just going to fire off some 300 mags. Uh, got a steel target. I uh, got some cantaloupes here. We're just going to do the, the 10 gauge and a 12 gauge and just see what's better, 10 gauge or 12 gauge. I do like these bullets, though. They weren't that expensive either. Look nice. Ooh. I don't know if you guys can <laughs> it doesn't sound too good. I think one of the windmill blades fell off the other day. They were working on it. All right, so I'm going to hurry up and get set up so we can get this done. Okay, so I got five rounds of 300 wind mag. Like, I'm not sure if the mag is going to work that good since I had to heavily modify it for the 458. But we're going to try it. Let's see if chambers are here. Yeah, so it is, uh, let's see. There it goes, this little stiff. Yeah, it is obviously just the front post on here. Dude, I haven't shot this gun in, boy, at least six to nine decades. I do love this gun. Oh yeah, Dude, this thing is gonna freaking wrap with a 458 wind mag. Kind of scared. <laughs> oh yeah, she's a working. Boy, this thing's loud. Try. Oops, sorry guys. I try a cantaloupe. Like I said, I only got a front post. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, not like dumping a 300 wind mag mag or mag 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 that's nice nice right, go check it out i am a freaking sniper with this that front post hey it was drilling holes through there huh yeah it was i didn't think it would go through there that's what I do love about the 300 mag. It just, it hits so hard. Right here is like a, used to be a landing plate. Any bullets back there? But yeah, man, I mean, it busted right through this thing. Like, that's from an eight millimeter steel core. A little 300 wind mag, dude. Blew some holes right through her. Man, I'm gonna have to build another 300 wind mag. It's, it's just, it's, I don't know, maybe three. What do you think I should build next? I'm thinking, I have that Mauser. I'm kind of leaning towards a 500 Magnum Mauser, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, to keep this fair, I intentionally forgot my magazine at home. Oop. So, just like the 10 gauge, the semi-auto, it's gonna be a single shot. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this, bugs, good lord. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. 
I'm gonna turn the gas block off. Give it maximum power. So I'll go with that one a little bit further down there since this has a the different choke tube on her. His buckshot. Did I seriously miss that? <laughs> Hold on. No, sorry, I got a rookie behind the gun here today, I guess. Let's try this again. There we go. Yeah, let's let's try the 10 gauge. Or re record there we go. So this is one of my favorite guns, man. It is just a single barrel 10 gauge. Look at that thing. Got some steel shot. Got some black cloud. It's kind of how I live my life under is a black cloud, so I'll tell you what, man. This gun freaking wraps. Alright. I don't I'm gonna aim so I don't miss. <laughs> Dude, that thing was insane. I'm gonna try one and still target there real quick. Alright, let's fire one down at the still target. Then I got another thing to try with this gun. Oh my god. Dude, this gun kicks so hard. So hard. Okay, I set up a pretty uh it's a pretty thick piece of car or uh plywood there. And I got some cantaloupes behind it. We're gonna see if it'll penetrate through there and hit the cantaloupe. I don't know if it will or not. If it does, I got a thicker piece over there too. Okay. Here we go. Hit a little bit low. That's actually right where I was aiming. I wasn't sure how it would hit. That's a, this gun shoots so good. Let's go check it out real quick here. Yeah, yeah. Blew right through it. So I'm going to put up another piece and try it again. Okay, so she went right through there. Put up another piece of three quarter inch plywood. <laughs> My poor shoulder. Okay. I don't know. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Whoop. There it is. Okay, these shells are badass. Actually, there's a steel BB there. There's a couple of them. I'm sure the camera will never focus, never does anymore. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty impressive for a shotgun. I don't know if I have any more wood back there or not. Let me go check. If not, hmm, let me shoot that little pistol, little Cobra. Okay, I'm literally like six to nine feet away, like no lie from this thing. Check out this pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot one barrel. <laughs> Thing's so cool, hold on. Yeah, so, I mean, you can't even really tell, like, <laughs> like seriously, it was from here, here, down to there, yep, even some down here, look. <laughs> Unless that's from now. Yeah, <laughs> and literally, I was standing right there. Like, seriously. <laughs> so, ah, fuck it. We'll shoot both barrels. Okay, so these are three inch Magnum 410s. And you can literally shoot both on this gun. You got to put the, uh, there it is, the selector in the middle. Best you can. There we go. Looks pretty good. You can't shoot 245s this way, just the 410s. Oh, good lord. <laughs> like, you should be wearing gloves while doing this. Something came back, hit me in the head. Oh, only one went off. Um, I was gonna say I didn't feel like it. Yeah, well. Yeah, like you say, you gotta get like perfectly centered. But There it is. Yeah, one more mag dump for the road. I got five in the clip, one in the hole. Let's see if I can penetrate that steel block and the thing. Whoop. Hold up on that one. I think that's it. Yep. <laughs> that was fun. Oh yeah, just drilling holes, baby. Drill, baby, drill.